Hi guys, this is FFAN16 and welcome to another update video of Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 update DLC for Final Fantasy XV VR and Horizon Zero Dawn DLC. So let's get started. Okay, so on my PlayStation 4 here, I'm going to go to my Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 game and go down to the PlayStation Store, which point you will see that there's new two items under your ad add-ons. One is for Kingdom Hearts 3.358 over two days additional scenes, and then you have your KH1 Theater. These are free downloads in the PlayStation Network, so go to your PlayStation Store and download them. It's a great addition to your game. Also, if you would notice, there was an update to adjust the gauge functionality and damage generation in Kingdom Hearts 2 to accommodate 60 frame bits per second and fix of other various issues. So it looks like we're getting updates for Kingdom Hearts um, older games, which is great. So our second thing here is Final Fantasy 15 VR. And I've got to say, I am super excited. I know it's just fishing, but even then it's VR is coming to Final Fantasy 15. This is reality now. And I'm super excited for any future content, but this I think is a decent start for Square Enix. They said they were going to come out and bring us fishing in a VR experience anyways. So at least we have this as a reality. It's coming. I know I don't own a VR headset yet. Yet. My cousin's gonna let me borrow his to see if I'm gonna like the experience. I do get motion sickness quite easily, but I'm super excited and this might just get me to buy a VR headset. Again, really, really love this. The next video here is going to be Horizon Zero Dawn DLC and I've got to say I'm super excited as well. I loved Horizon Zero Dawn. It's one of my favorite games that have come out so far and I'm definitely going to be interested in looking at purchasing this DLC and be able to stream it or at least do a video of it on my channel for you guys. This game looks amazing. This trailer looks amazing and I'm just really interested in what story content this DLC is going to bring down and how Aloy is going to play into it. We were pr pretty much good on the storyline at the end of Horizon Zero Dawn, so it'll be interesting to see what this mountain has to do with the story with Aloy and what point of the story this DLC takes place. Is it at the very end? Is it somewhere in the middle? It'll be really interesting what they're going to do with it. Just how much money this is going to be, I just hope it's not going to be a huge amount maybe about 20 bucks even then it better be pretty lengthy but there you go guys that's so far what's new from e3 and on playstation right now that's coming in 2017 no no date here the fishing is coming in late fall 2017 september i believe here so definitely a lot of content to look forward to this year and e3 is still going on so hopefully we got a lot more cool stuff coming down the line Anyways, guys, thanks for stopping by, listening to this quick update video. This is FFAN16. If you like, put a like below. Subscribe. I know this was a bit rushed, so sorry again, guys, but I hope you're enjoying E3. I know I am. And as always, happy gaming.